This is a skull cat. This was a suggestion from my friend Kaylee. She said to make my last 31, 32 paintings count. And then immediately suggested a skull cat. I thought the advice was pretty profound. <laughs> Make them count. So I'm here to make them count, fellas and ladies. I had to Google what a cat skull looked like. <clears throat> I was pretty surprised. I didn't know what that bone sticking out near its eyes are. And then it's got like two little holes underneath its eyes. I just wanted to get some of this black area in started. Didn't want to mix it in with any of the paints later, but I'm fine with mixing the black in with the other paints. Hey, you gotta learn and make mistakes somehow. I just chose to do it via experience, making me a folk artist. White paint. I need a lot of white paint for this painting, so I put it out and I put way too much out. Woo! Which is fine with me. I'll just use... I think I... Oh, there's even more. <laughs> I'll use it later in my next painting. It's still out. Death. This episode entices death. What if your cat had died? And then you decided, hey, I wonder if I could have its skull. And then you skinned it, and then kind of took its head and put it in an anthill or something. And then you'd have your cat forever. Maybe you should wait for it to die naturally. Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't do that at all. Maybe you shouldn't even consider taxidermy, because that is kind of sort of weird. And like a cat leather puppet, and they had to reconstruct its skull with wire tubing. I only have the three or uh, four, uh, five tubes, five tubes of tube of paint: yellow, red, blue, white, and black. So if I want to get brown, I have to start mixing all three colors together and just kind of hoping for the best. Because I'm not that experienced in like painting my own colors, mixing. I'm trying to do my best to mix my own colors. But sometimes, trying is the way to go. And that's the way I, I like it. Sure, you could Google how to do it. But then you're just sitting at your phone watching other people do it and just kind of learning in that way which is fine but then you find yourself doing that long enough you find yourself just creating other people's art I use a reference picture for this painting 
really shows off in the final product. <laughs> I didn't know what a cat skull looks like. I kind of painted over the little cat, um, or the, the eyeball, pokey pole skull. I paint over it again. Power to your mom. Power to your grandmother. Power to your other grandmother. Power to your sister. Power to your mother. Power to your dad. Power to your mom. Power to your grandmom too. Power to the whiteies. That's racist too. Power to the... Power to the... Power to the... Everybody who isn't white. Power to your mom. Power to your sister too. Power to your grandma too. Hey you. Power to you. Making sure I'm recording is very important. Did you remember to like my channel? Did I remember to like you back? You like my content, I like you a lot. You watch my content, I kinda like you from afar. I never painted a skull before and tried to make it look semi-realistic But here goes anything I felt it was very monochromatic <clears throat> with just white and black But I decided to put a lot of other colors into it In fact, all of them. I started off heavily with the yellow with the skull that mixed in some reds and some blues to make some browner, to make some shade of the inside of the skull. Which I'm doing here. Can you count how many art rules I'm breaking? Can you count how many F's I give? Shut your mouth, Dora the Explorer. Shut your mouth. Snatcher, shut your mouth, boots, shut your mouth, backpack, shut your mouth, map, shut your mouth, Nickelodeon. Have you seen the new Dora the Explorer movie? If, uh, if you have, was Danny Trejo as Boots good? It's okay to say no.
It's okay to feel your feelings. It's okay to be yourself. If other people are judging you, they assholes. If other people judging you, they stink like assholes. Everybody who judges you, they forget to wipe their butt. Hey you, you're cool for being who you are. Hey you, yes you, watching this video. You're pretty as heck, you're beautiful, maybe even handsome, I don't know. Probably cute. You're underappreciated. I'm proud. I could be seen as a male influence. I could be a daddy symbol. And yo, I'm proud of you. I could be your mommy symbol too if you want. <laughs> Sometimes I like to see how long it takes me to reframe a painting. It needs to be wetter, the paint on the painting. It needs more linseed oil, I bet. But that's alright. Art Fart Art Is farty You could quote me on it Art Is farty You could quote me on it Hey Fuck art Art Is pretty pretty lame Hey, go fuck yourself, Art. You are pretty lame. Hey, hey, Art, you suck. You could go crawl in a hole and die. Hey, Art, you suck. You could just go and decapitate your horses. You're overly pretentious and you don't contribute to society you just take and take until there is nothing left for you to take fuck art fuck art fuck art fuck you fuck art hey it's in frame again So come to my art gallery.
how much would you sell your body for on the black market? It could go fuck itself. Art sucks. You could go fuck yourself for enjoying anything in your life. Ever looked at an image and thought that was cool? Hey, fuck you. That's art. That's art. Never went to a subway and ordered a submarine sandwich and thought, hey, that's okay. Well, fuck you. That's art. Fuck you, that's art. Fuck you, that's art. Fuck you, that's art. Fuck you, that's art. Holy shit. Fuck you, that's art. This cat skull <clears throat> is swag. Every once in a while, I just like to make a painting that I'm proud of. This is one of them. The teeth are kind of effed up. But I'm not going to go back and fix it. This is done. I gotta move on to the next one. Uh, this is number 168. As the time of... Oh no, this is number 169. That means only 31 to go. Aren't you proud of me? Rigatoni, 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 Another piece of bread. You got yourself a baloney motherfucker on sandwich. Skull cat means a cat dead. This cat is alive no more. They took away all the flesh around the skull of the cat. They got the skull of the cat. And then, you know what they did with that? They sold it on the internet. And then I saw its picture. And then I painted that and signed my name, and that is that. I hope you enjoyed, like, share, and subscribe. You're the best. You're cute, too. <laughs>